Hi everyone, um, welcome back to another episode of Bert's Crafts Chats. Um, I just wanted to say before we start with this week's episode, a massive thank you um, for all the views on episode three. Um, that video has had over 500 views, which is just amazing. Like I never thought that any of my videos would get that many views. So I'm really, really um, happy and grateful that so many people have watched it and hopefully um, enjoyed it and hopefully will come back and watch um, more episodes. Um, and of course, I wanted to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed and commented and liked um, any of my videos, but particularly that episode three. Um, it's really nice to see those views going up and receiving the comments and receiving the likes and then see the subscribers going up as well. Um, I don't do this for the likes, you know, I don't want 100,000 people f subscribe to me, but um, I do it because I just want to be able to share things with you and to get feedback from people um, is just um, amazing. So yeah, I'm really, really grateful. So I just want to say a massive, massive thank you before I start. So uh, moving on from that, you might notice that I am, um, again, I'm having the issue with the camera and where to look, um, filming in somewhere a bit different this week. Um, I think we put this together a couple of days after I filmed the last episode so I don't think it's I know I posted a picture on my Instagram which is Bert's Crafts I'll link below my Instagram if you don't follow me over there um but yeah so this is my new wall storage so if I move to the side I've got all my beautiful hand dyed yarns and there are some up at the top as well um and then in here there's just other random bits and bobs and baskets of wool and it's you know it's never ending and then right at the top I've got some baskets with my minis in so maybe at some point I can do sort of a little tour of that if that's something you'd like to see. Um, another idea that I had was doing sort of um, alongside a sort of little tour was doing um, a few videos about um, my favourite hand dyers and the yarn that I have got from them. Um, so yeah, I thought that would be something fun. So let me know what you think about that and I can definitely um, film something like that. Um, so, without further ado, let's move on to... I'm just looking, I've got uh, some notes because I think a couple of times before I've not had any notes and I know I've rambled a bit. So we're going to move on to current... Projects. So the first thing I've got to show you is in this lovely box here. It is actually the uh, Nora George Yarns advent from the year before last, so 2021. See, do you know what I mean about rambling? Um, and in here is the minnow throw that I am making for the um, Woods and Wool crochet along. Um, so that is being hosted by Melissa from Woods and Wall over on Instagram and she's got a Facebook group as well which you can join. Um, it's never too late to join. So I am, it's currently week two and I think I've got maybe one more mini skein to add. I've not actually shared a photo of this yet anywhere. That's my, I'm going to take that photo after I've filmed this video. So um, you are getting first dibs. So it's um, just like a corner to corner blanket. Um, you can basically make it in any size. I think Melissa's original one, she used, did she use 12 or 15 mini skeins? So I'm using an advent, so that is 24. So I'm doing 12 up to the center point and then 12 to decrease. Um, I have gone up half a hook size so I think the pattern recommends a four millimeter hook but I'm using a four and a half just because I know I crochet quite tightly and um oh, I'll just I'll just show you and then I can explain a bit more so this is where oh it looks even better when you put it up against the camera so this is where we're at so far so how's the best way to know I've actually got some yarn attached to it so that's what I'm working on so I think that's number nine so I've worked out that if I do, it's a five week cow. So if I do five, 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 and then four, that will use all my 24s in the five weeks. And there might be some weeks where I do a few more. Um, 
but I'm trying to keep up. So yeah, I'm on my ninth mini now, and then if I can get my tenth on sort of today or later on this evening or tomorrow, then I'll be up to date. So this is what it looks like. It's quite big, but obviously as you increase the um, width of the stripes get smaller because they're getting longer. So you are still using the same amount of yarn for each section. But what I'm hoping is, um, is that when I, because I, I will block this, it will definitely grow. So um, I think, yeah, by the time it's been sort of washed and blocked, there's definitely room for that stitch to expand. So then it will be sort of even bigger. Uh, so I think that's the wrong side. So yeah, you get the gist on that one. But it's it's a lovely, lovely pattern. Um, I'm really enjoying making it. I'm really enjoying seeing the colours come together. Um, I don't think I've got any more to share about that. I will, of course, link um, Melissa down below. And I will try and link the... Um, pattern as well she's doing three so there's three patterns that you can pick from if you want to take part in the crochet along okay and the next thing I've got to show you is something I showed you in last uh, times episode last times does that make sense the last episode episode three is my big granny stripe using hand dyed yarn so it's grown um I don't know how far off finishing it I'll show it you first and then I'll show you um how much I've got left of each one so I'm sort of midway through a row so it's probably not the best way to be showing you and this chair's squeaking now as I'm moving so this is how we're looking on this so it is huge absolutely huge but it is so beautiful I love it so much I love it I love it and it's so it's so it's in DK um, so it's really like nice and heavy and now looking at it I want a jumper. Imagine how lovely that would be. So yeah, really enjoying this. Um, so I've used 13 different uh, skeins for this one and I've done quite a few repeats with it, let me see. So we've got one, two, three, four, Five. So I'm on my sixth repeat um, and I think I'll probably get another two maybe. So let me pick one that's already had the sixth repeat done. So this is how much I've got left. Um, so maybe another two rows. So yeah, in the end it's going to be really, really big. And then I will decide what sort of order I want to put on it. I've seen somebody else make a blanket like this and they did a crab stitch border i think that's what it's called um which i've not done before so i'd like to try and give that a go and if i can somehow find a way to incorporate the ends in without having to sew them in that would be lovely because what i've done in some places is catch catch the ends but it's hard sometimes to catch both ends because of the way the the ends lie you don't want to sort of pull pull the sides um so yeah so i'm really really enjoying making that and again it's just a nice um project to sit with in the evenings you don't really have to think about it you just make it so yeah that one may be done by the time i film the next episode i say may be done the blanket will definitely be finished. Whether I'll have done the border and sewn in the ends is a different matter. And then the next thing I wanted to talk about was um, some patterns that I've recently discovered. So they're the only two projects that I'm sort of working on at the moment, which is quite good for me, really. Um, I've still been working on a couple of the projects that I talked about in the last episode, sort of in the background. But those, those two have been the main ones um, that I've been working on. So... Yeah, patterns that I've recently um, discovered and would like to um, choose some yarn for, I think. Um, there's two by Hayley Handcrafted. So she's on Instagram. I'll link her Instagram and her. She's on Ravelry. 
I'm also on Ravelry. I want to get better at using Ravelry. Um, so I'll link my Ravelry down below. And if you're also on Ravelry, add me. Um, so yeah, so Hayley Handcrafted. Um, the first one, again, I'm looking at my list, is called the Flipside Bandana Cow. And this is a recent release. Um, I will try and link a picture here or here or somewhere. Um, it uses two skeins of DK weight yarn. Um, and it just looks like a really quick, easy make. But um, from what I've read from people that have made the pattern is the colour combinations that you could make are endless. So you could use sort of, um, you needn't even use um, hand dyed yarn. You could use any sort of commercial yarn. Um, but I think it would really lend itself well to um, to hand dyed yarn. Um, so that's the first one. I'll just have a slurp of tea. Mm pop that down and then the second one by um Hayley handcrafted is the Sw swan song scarf again i'll link it i'll put a picture somewhere and link it down below and this i think uses one full size skein and then five or six mini skeins so either complementary or they could be you know um contrast to the the full size skein you use i've got loads of mini skeins I will talk about my mini skeins in another video, I think. Um, but yeah, this looks like a really nice pattern. Um, I haven't actually made anything by Hayley before, so I'd really like to give those two a go. And then um, another one I wanted to talk about is um, somebody that I have just recently discovered. She's on Instagram called Class City Crochet and her name's Shelley. Um, and she's released the Tallulah wrap again. I will put a picture up. Um, and this is a five skein project. So um, she's made it in um, a fade, which looks beautiful. Um, so you could either make it in a fade or you could make it in five contrasting colours. I think it's using fingering weight yarn. So that's another thing um, that I'd like to potentially give a go. And it's a very sort of simple um, pattern. It's just like a long rectangle with sort of pointed ends. So I think as a wearable item, um, it'd sort of be something that you'd get a lot of wear out of. So although it seems like a lot of yarn to use, um, I think if you picked, you know, if you made the, the right selection, my hair is bothering me, um, it, would, it would look beautiful. So, um, so that's that one. And then the last one is the Montana Crochet Silvergate Scarf. Again, I think this is a new um, pattern release. And um, I'll link a picture. Um, this uses DK weight, I think. Again, I think it uses a full skein and then some minis. Um, now, I don't have that many neutral sort of type minis um in dk so i i'm interested to see what sort of color combinations i could pick for that one so if that's something that you'd like to see um let me know as with any of these i sort of wanted to talk about them first and then thought it'd be nice in the next episode to update you on as to whether i've actually picked anything and maybe i could uh film my sort of picking process um, so yeah, so that's that one. Um, so they're all um, patterns that I've recently discovered and would like to give a go. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about this week um, was another project that I've got sort of whizzing around in my mind. And this is inspired by um, Ali and she's on YouTube. She films podcasts and vlogs um, on Little Drops of Wonderful. And I think her Instagram handle is starry eyed. Ali so I'll link her down below and she did a video just before Christmas about mini skeins um, and all the projects that she's either made or has found that use mini skeins in crochet um, and the pattern that I want to talk about is the triangle wrap so if you watch her video she's made this beautiful super big triangle wrap and the original pattern is by Anna Who Anna Boo's house. Um, it's a free pattern, and I think she uses chunky weight yarn. So from what I've read on the pattern, is you can basically make it in whatever weight um, 
yarn you want um, and it's just like a massive granny triangle so you can make it small or as big as you want um, and I thought it'd be a perfect way of using mini skeins and sort of odds and ends um, Ali just um, I think she was using sort of advents and yarn swaps so I think she's been making hers for about I think she said three years she's just added and added to it now I've got lots of sort of odds and ends and mini skeins um, that I think would be perfect for this and it'd be a nice stash buster so if that's what you're working towards this year which is sort of what I am I, I really want to start using my yarns rather than just having them look pretty on a shelf because although they look pretty they need to be in something um so what my thoughts were for this was I think I showed this project in my first episode I want to say so what it was is this blanket well it's not really a blanket it's the start of a blanket um it is lovely bear with me let me just cross my leg it is lovely but it's such a time consuming project now i'm looking at it i don't want to not make it so um yeah what so the idea behind it is is from that i've got lots of mini skeins that have i mean this these little squares they are a pattern by oh what's the lady's name sandra cherry heart um and it's sort of her half and half solid granny square um they use such a tiny amount of um yarn that i could probably still continue add into this but they are a bit fiddly to make especially during the half and half and the join so what I was thinking is I mean I've got quite a lot of um every color that I've used in that I think most of the colors in this basket have been used in this and what I don't want to end up this being is although it'd be so difficult to make sort of repeats because they're all just random is a color that's possibly been in this could then alongside this I could start making the granny triangle wrap um so for example this color let's just use this one example I don't think I'd probably get another square out of that so what I could do with this is start the granny wrap and then um in Ali's wrap she just um I think when she ran out she just kept going with another one so that's the sort of thing I'd like if you go and watch Ali's video you'll get the gist of what I'm talking about so I'm probably talking absolute nonsense again this one I probably wouldn't get another half a square out of that so that would be perfect to add to that that and it's a great it looks to be I mean I haven't started it yet so obviously maybe by the time I next talk about it I will have started it so it looks to be a great way to use up all those odds and ends and I mean even in terms of this uh, the minnow thread that I've been using I wanted to um finish and start my ends I didn't want to join on midway through a row if you want to do that that's absolutely fine so there are bits where I've just oh, just thrown that one on the floor um where I've got like tiny little bits left that I th that weren't enough to to do another row so I think just whack them into a project um and it'd just be like a whole collection of all little different mini skeins and then it looks to be like the perfect wrap to just wrap over you and snuggle under of an evening um so yeah I think that's it um I've rambled on for long enough let me know your thoughts on everything let me know if you've made any of the patterns that I've talked about or if they're new to you um and I think what I'm going to try and do is get another video filmed of um my collection maybe so i'll see if i can do that today so look out for that one um and thank you so much again for watching thank you for coming back if you've come back thank you for coming if you're new don't forget to subscribe uh please leave me a comment or um a like um i'll leave all my links to everything down below i'll try and remember to link everything i've talked about I'm going to go now because I'm rambling. Take care and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.